As my man crush likes to say, all right, all right, all right. That was cheesy, wasn't it? Good old Matthew McConaughey. Good old Matthew McConaughey. Matthew, if you're watching, I love you. I'd love to meet you. Love to hang out. I'll buy the beers. You pick the place, probably Texas. We'll go to a football game. I know you like Texas Longhorns. Um, all right, all Does right, he? all right. Wow, you know a lot about I, him. He's my man crush. He's he's definitely, I, I know enough about him. So, anyway, we are here in the Hudson Valley, and we found a really cool Harvest Host location for the last day or so. And it's a horse farm. It's a beautiful, huge horse farm. She probably has like 100 horses here. I don't know. There's so many. And it's heaven. Because it smells like horse poop. It actually doesn't smell bad here. But you like the smell of horse poop. I do. I love the smell makes, of yeah. horse poop. All right. <laughs> There's more than horses, though. There's a... Yeah, she's got uh, peacocks and turkeys and a big pot belly pig and... All our sorts favorite. of animals. Our favorite? Our favorite? I've never met this thing in real life. Oh, there's a camel. She's got I a camel. I almost forgot. And his name is Chesney. Like Kenny Chesney. Yeah. Yes, the camel's awesome. He's super friendly. I was terrified he was going to, like, hawk a loogie on me because they spit. She got really but... close to take a picture and you see his mouth open. <laughs> and I backed up really fast. But he didn't. He's really nice. He comes right up to the fence and just wants to be loved on cool camel <laughs> so we of course we love harvest hosts and we love sharing the places that we stay if you're following along on our budget we let you know where we're staying um, specifically and we try to share in the video because this place is awesome if you do come up to this area in new york at any time of year and we're in Wallkill, which is in the hudson valley about 75 miles north of the city and this is you have to camp here if you are a member of harvest host please stop here uh, the owner's name is Marcy. She's incredibly kind, uh, amazing host, and we've loved all the all the time we've spent here. One of the ways that you can support Marcy here is by just giving her cash donation to go toward taking care of the animals, particularly the horses. But you can get a bale of hay pretty cheap, and that'll feed horses for you know like three hours. <laughs> yeah, maybe. I don't know horses. All they do <laughs> they is stand around lot. and eat. They eat a lot. But that's, um, that's, that's a cool way of being a part of contributing here because Harvest Host is about meeting people. It's about getting to camp for quote-unquote free, but it's also about supporting the host. We have seen all sorts of weather. You're wearing your beanie right now. It's so cold. It's tells cold me and it's windy. It's cold. It's windy, which means we had this crazy storm come through last night. Mm -hmm. And it was, I mean, it was amazing to see. It was like the end of the world. Um, but it is a beautiful sunny day right now. And we are going to get back on track. Well, we never got off track, but we are right now, we are right in the heart of the leaves changing colors. We can go in any direction and we're going to see leaves. So we're going to head north. Pretty foliage. Pretty foliage. Go ahead and do it. No, go I'm going to wait until there's leaves. So, okay. So we're <laughs> gonna, I'm going to prime you for Lindsay's excitement. Our favorite comedian is Jim Gaffigan. If you don't know Jim Gaffigan, we're including a link. If we can do the pop-up, it's going to be right here. If not, it's in the description <laughs> to one of our favorite skits. So actually our favorite one as it relates to uh, the fall colors. And Lindsay will let you know that as soon as you watch it, you're going to laugh because you're going to see Lindsay and Jim Gaffigan sound exactly alike <laughs> when she sees these fall colors. Uh, but that's just to let you know we're getting back on our mission of heading north. This will be probably as far north as we go. We'll reach that point today, and that's going to be in the Lake George area. Everywhere further north has already reached peak and is actually, the leaves are falling off the trees, sadly. So there will be no Vermont, no New Hampshire, no Maine. Which is fine. Which is fine. Initially, we wanted to go there, but we lost a month or so with getting a late start. But now that we're here, we're excited. The colors are popping. They're going to be popping all around us, and we're just going to enjoy being in all of the foliage. The foliage. <laughs> Poop. 
That's what we said about Washington. It's also Is that how we feel about New York, too? No, I don't feel that way about New York. We hit a little sna snarfuffle, kerfuffle, snaf snag. snag. On the road? On the road. We pulled over to get propane at Tractor Supply. And uh, on the way back, I noticed we were dripping some fluid. And I noticed on the way in that the brakes were a little soft on the very last turn. So, sure enough, we've determined that we have leaking brake line and we got to fix it. The good news is, Lindsay's awesome at finding great mechanics. And uh, so I set her to do that work, and we, you found one? I mean, I hope so. I found a really nice guy. And I don't call any of the big name places because. They just want to rip you off. Yep. So she feels so, good about this guy. We just have to find a place to camp for the night. And then... Uh, and there's no campgrounds around No here. campgrounds around. So... And Walmart says no overnight camping. So I'm going to go and try to work my schmooze and see if we can camp there. If not, we're just going to have to street camp in front of the shop. And uh, uh, hopefully it'll be all right. And then first thing in the morning, we got to take the camper off the truck. And then he'll have us hopefully fixed up by the day. By the day's end. So... And it's going to cost us some money. We don't budget this in our $1,200 a month. This is just like in our savings because um, we can't, we learned in our first year, you can't predict what's going to happen when it comes to maintenance. So we do save regularly for oil change and, um, and fluids and things like that. But for something like this, it's just, uh, it's going to be what it is and we're going to have to pay for it and then we're going to move on and the truck will be all the better for it. So... Uh, take it across the chin and on we go. So we're going to go and figure out the next step, which is Walmart. And we'll check back in. That was awesome. Oh, man, what a morning. What a morning. Bob, we can't say enough about. You probably won't meet him because you probably won't have to have mechanic work when you're passing just north of Albany, New York. But if you do, send us a message because we'll put you in touch with Bob. He, um, he let us camp in his shop it was really our only lot. option parking yeah. lot which was great because if we had camped at walmart we woke up and had no fluid left in the yeah, reservoir we would have had to be towed we would have had to be towed so it was a godsend like almost all of our breakdowns i would say every one of the times that we've been pulled off the road we have had amazing experiences not that we like breaking down i don't like it at all i don't want to do it ever again but we do get to meet some amazing people, and that's just part of a part of the trip, part of traveling. So anyway, we woke up. Bob was already ready as soon as the sun was up. He um, he came out. He was surprised by the size of our truck, and couldn't get it on the lift, but said he'd do the work crawling under. So him and his uh, his guy crawled underneath, and they were in the dirt, and they crawled around, and they fixed the brake line, got us back ready to go, and can't say enough for him. So. Our dogs are obviously excited about getting back on the road. Full of energy. We're just north of Albany, so we're going to continue our trek up the, I forgot what highway it was, but we're going to head up to Lake George area. And Bob told us the colors are just popping right now, so good time to be here, even though it's cold. You ready to go? Yes. You're not saying anything. I have been. You've been repeating what I've been saying. I've been repeating what you've been saying? Yes, just like that. Just like what? <laughs> well, we're in Lake George. We just stopped for a couple minutes. Kind of let the dogs out for a walk, go explore a little bit. The colors are still uh, a little on the not quite ripe side. Um, but the first thing we learned is that we don't have to pay for parking after Labor Day because there are no meter maids. So a local says. Hopefully that's the case. I didn't put any coin in the meter. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right With you and I, the future is bright Lake George is pretty cool. I enjoyed it there. It was really yeah. pretty. It's a big lake, and 
if you were here during the summer, it'd be packed. Yeah, people so. would be swimming. The dogs got to go and play and get some walking in. We discovered a fort. Found a fort. Didn't know I that had was no there. idea it was there. It was pretty cool. And uh, I was itching to continue to drive north. I didn't expect us to get out of the, the mechanic shop so soon. So we had our whole day. We left at 9 o'clock this morning. Yeah. Had nice. our whole day in front of us. So um, I, I keep seeing Canada. And I don't want to go to Canada. They won't let us in for multiple reasons. We love you, Canada. Um, but the border is less than an hour or about an hour away or so. And Vermont's like right across right across the, other the way. river. Mm -hmm. So it got, I'm just I'm like stir crazy to drive and the colors are picking up and beautiful. So we're just going to do a bit of driving and explore and Lindsay found a harvest host for us to stay tonight. We love harvest hosts. We stinking love harvest hosts. <laughs> so New York right now has some strict covid restrictions on their state park campgrounds or their government run campgrounds where you cannot walk in or reserve a site the day of. So state parks are out of the question. We were looking at those and then I finally found the, the uh, whatever, the written, the COVID yeah. restrictions. So we were going like, to give oh, the state of New York a lot of money because we were going to camp a couple work. nights. Yeah. And then I was like, well, I'll check out Harvest And sure enough, there's a few places up there. So. Which usually Harvest Host is our go-to, but yeah. we were kind of like putting the brakes on it. We actually were going to stay at a Passport America campground last night before we had our little break fiasco so um harvest host we were going to give a little break but why not enjoy yeah. it let's do it's it it's spectacular so let's go to this winery it's friday night they may have live events going on they may have food they may have all kinds of fun stuff and we're just going to go drive up the interstate get off on some back roads and head our way out to the to the winery <music> Gangster with your donut mask. Gangster? I feel like Maverick. Maverick. And Top Gun, yeah. Like I'm just waiting I'm just get, waiting to get called up and then it's hang on, I, I did that wrong. I'm waiting to get called up and then it's just like Put me in, coach. I'm ready. Okay. I'm gonna go I'm gonna go get those bad guys. <laughs> and then it's like when he gets done when it's all intense and he's like <sighs> Yeah. <sighs> That's how I'm treating the mask wearing thing. Taking it serious, but with my own spin on it. So we are in Plattsville, New York. You ever thought you'd be in Plattsville, New York? No, never. Never heard of Plattsville, New York. Nope. We are 20 minutes from the Canadian border. Pretty exciting, which means we're within about an hour and a half from Montreal. Of course, we can't go to Canada because it's only necessary travel. And last I checked, there's nothing necessary in Canada for us. Nope. We do have friends in Canada, we, we yeah, think we're on the other side. Way on the other side. So, anyway, we're not going to Canada. In fact, this is the top part in in uh, our travels. The, the furthest north we're going to be. Mm -hmm. We're actually further north here than we would have been if we had gone to Maine. It's pretty exciting. So, we saw our colors today, and they're all around us. It's a little dreary. Yeah. Right it's now. Kinda... It's windy. Uh, here. There's a storm coming but... in. So we're gonna um, we're gonna hang out here today at this Harvest Host. And another exciting thing that happened is I paid seventeen dollars and forty eight cents to take a dump. To take a dump. An and RV I don't, dump. I don't mean personally. I mean <laughs> our truck camper. Seventeen dollars and forty eight cents. So we saw an I Overlander um, mark that said we could go and we could go to a rest stop and they had a dump station. So we went there and we walked, literally, we walked every inch of that place and couldn't find no it. No dump station. No dump station. So that was the last stop before we got here. We had planned on camping last night. We are, we keep going back to that. So we weren't able to dump because we weren't in the campground last night. So we had to go to this RV center and I was like, oh, it's going to be 10 bucks. Because that's like, even in Alaska, that was the most we paid. And Alaska's mm -hmm. like super remote. So I'm like, even in Alaska, $10. And so I went, I got the key. She's like, oh, we'll square up when you're done. If she'd have told me $17 before, I probably would have dumped on the floor right there. <laughs> I would have been like, you gotta be shitting me, right? It would have just come out. Yes. 
But it wasn't then, it was afterwards that she hits me up after I give her the credit card. She knew. And she, whoop, yeah, she knew I would have dumped on her floor right there. So, actually, I would have pulled out in their big gravel area that they have, no, pulled you behind the last don't RV. Tell people that. And I would have just, you won't all do that. over the place. Chris wouldn't do that. All right, so let me get rid of this for a second. So, anyway, we're at Harvest House. It is a cideria. Is that what you call a cider it? Cider house. A cider house, not but a cideria. But they have grapes, too. They have like rows and rows of grapes out here. I don't know where the apples are, but we can ask when we go in there. Yeah. And we and also we, like cider. we had to pay a couple hundred dollars to get our brake lines fixed. And what would we normally do, Lindsay, when we have a breakdown? Freak out. Well, yeah, we know that. But then what would we do as like our comfort food? Oh, like, eat pizza? Yeah, we don't we almost always eat pizza when we have an issue. We can't like eat that. pizza anymore. Since we can't eat pizza, our comfort food today is gonna be cider. <laughs> We're going to go well, have a we'll glass see. of cider. I haven't had cider in a while. I think I'll be okay. We're not big drinkers, but today we're going to have a com commiseration, commisery, com you fix. They have food language. here, too. And they have food here. But I'm definitely going to have a happy hour cider. On that Fact. note, we're running out of time. Yep, we need to go to happy hour. So we're staying as Harvest Host tonight. We uh, will fill you in on all the details about how awesome it is. But for now, we are going inside with our put me in coach mask. Oh, Eddie, we're not muffled anymore. No. That's nice. One of the things that I love about Harvest House, one of the main things is is the people that we meet, the hosts themselves. So last night while we were enjoying a little date night, impromptu date night, um, we got into conversation with the owners, and they put us on some really cool adventures. And they also put us on some really cool mountain road. Yeah, to see the drives. fall colors. So we'll see uh, we'll see about that at a later point. Lindsay, I'm cold. We woke up freezing this morning. I mean, it was warm yesterday, and we had no idea the temperature was going to drop like it did last night. It was warm like I took a shower outside in my undies. And it wasn't really warm. The wind was blowing 20 miles an hour. No, it was but starting to cut It was not down. as cold as it is now. I would never, never, never take a bath in this kind of weather. It's beautiful outside. It's sunny, gorgeous, clear, but it is definitely... Cold and Huck is uh, Huck's in love with life right now. <laughs> we're in Vesco Ridge Vineyards right now in upstate New York, and today we're gonna go into the mountains and see if we can push our luck. <sighs> see if we can push our luck and have some beautiful leaves and some beautiful scenery and uh, maybe a couple little hikes in as we're headed to who knows where. But the only direction for us from here is south, so we're gonna be heading south. Yep, south and west. South and west. Yep. South and west. Never a dull moment here. With two dogs. Yes. <laughs> and me. And you, of course. Kill my battery. The foliage! <laughs> I made the mistake of making a noise and this little sweet thing is going crazy right now. Oh, so we left. We left the tip top of New York and started making our way south. We drove up to the mountain, um, Whiteface Mountain, and it was uh, straight uphill. So we decided that was no good for us, um, no good for the truck. And at the, the further up in elevation we went, the more dead the leaves became. So we have traveled back south and we've gone to a little bit lower elevation. We're in a beautiful place right now for hiking. Obviously, excuse me, obviously this guy has some energy. So we're gonna go hike, I think it's a two mile out and back, something like that. Give him some uh, energy release, get Fat Evie some energy release and uh, enjoy the colors because we're back down to where there's greens and yellows and oranges and just a little bit of reds. 
no brown really. So we are back into Color Town. Um, but that's what we're going to be doing and where we go after that. Who knows? Don't really know where we're going to sleep tonight. But, oh well, we'll figure it out. We always do. You know that. So we'll take you on the trail with us. Most of the leaves have lost their trees. Yeah. <laughs> Most of the trees have lost their leaves in here. That's a good way of looking at it. Most of the leaves have lost their trees. Yeah. I guess, yeah. Flipping turds. I highly recommend it. Flipping turds? Flipping turds. <laughs> Oh boy. Okay. Puppy. 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 Definitely the wrong, sun's wrong angle, but this is beautiful. I couldn't have picked a better view. I don't think. This is really nice. Tell me about it. We are at Kip Mountain. I can't tell you how high it is. <laughs> Maybe a couple thousand feet. 26,000. No, we didn't do that one. <laughs> but it's a nice short hike. We decided to take, get the dogs out and uh, it's a really nice view. And that is Loon Lake. L-O-O-N, like the bird. Like the bird. Yep. This concludes our stay in upstate New York, as we have stayed in this fine establishment, this campground here. Well, this part of upstate New York. No, we're going, we're leaving upstate New York. Okay. And we're going to be heading to western New York. You must get your New York proper correct. But we talked to other people that said... They felt like they were beyond upstate. Okay. So we're beyond upstate right now. We're outside of Lake George, and we are going to be leaving and heading west to western New York yep. on our way to the old Niagara Falls. Howsoever, wrapping this up real quick, this campground is a Passport America campground, and it is a hit or miss with Passport America. So we want to make sure that we're very clear. We have a great post on kind of comparing the, the pros and cons it saved us $19.50, which is pretty yeah. awesome because all Passport America are 50% off the established retail rate. However, they have all kinds of rules. So you definitely yeah. want to read about the rules. Some of them are like, you can't stay. Most of them are no Passport America over the weekend. Some are good for one night, two nights. Some are good on every Tuesday, except the fifth Tuesday of the month, whenever there's a Tuesday that falls on a harvest moon and also a blue moon, which is the second full moon of the month. There's all kinds of these rules. Um, none of them are discrimi discriminatory, of course, except against your fun and the time that you're there. So anyway, we are here. It is the middle of October, which means this part of the world is pretty much shutting down. It's shutting down, yeah. So this campground was on bare bones. But for $19.62, we got hot showers. Yep. You got your pretty hair all done. I got it all washed. All washed. I got to shave my head. Got my hair did. And uh, we were able to plug in the shore power, so our batteries are all topped off. Not that they wouldn't have gotten there with solar, but it's yep. always good. It is a dreary day today, so it's nice that we had that shore power. It got down to 40 degrees, a little bit less than 40 degrees last night. So we got to try out our new space heater. We stayed nice and warm. Nice and toasty. In fact, I had to wake up in the middle. It was too it hot. Off. It was too hot. It has a thermostat <laughs> on it, and it is a safe one. I'm not going to sell you on it right now, but it's really awesome. You can't tip it over and have it burn your camper down. So we slept with it on, and it got really toasty last night. Woke up, and it's a nice, cool morning this morning, overcast, um, 45 degrees. It won't get like this in Florida until, like, mid-December January, January. Yeah, not December. so we kind of jumped forward in time mm -hmm. um, but we are happy that we are here and we're gonna go ahead and wrap up our time here in the good old upstate New York at uh, in the Lake George area as we begin our next part of the adventure so Felicia if you're still watching you know what time it is it's a time to bye. say bye
I know you're watching this because you really love Lindsay, but if you love us together as a team, please make sure to like this video, uh, subscribe to our channel if you haven't already done so, share our story, share this video with your friends and family, and of course, be sure to send a positive comment. Positive comments only because the negative ones get deleted. <laughs> Yes, my skin is that thin, even <laughs> way up here. Thanks for being a part of our journey. We look forward to sharing the next episode with you. We are ever grateful that you are a part of it.